hi in this video I am going to talk about pointers to arrays first we'll see a pointer to one dimensional array then we will see a pointer for two dimensional array so basically we will learn the syntax for the pointers when the pointer is pointing to an array here I have taken a single dimension array of size 5 and also initialize with the elements I am assuming that these are the addresses of the locations as these are integers so each is 2 2 bytes and this is name of an array name of an array is also called as base address of an array so this a itself is 100 it is not a pointer but it's an address pointer is a variable which stores the address but this itself is an address that is base address of an array so we can use the syntax of pointers on the name of an array also here I have taken one pointer pointing to base address of an array that is 100 P is pointing to A first we will see the syntax by using the base address of an array so that same syntax is useful for pointers see if I say printf a so what is a a is base address 100 if I say ampersand a then also it is 100 address of a address of a is also 100 and even if I say ampersand a of 0 then also it's going to be 100 next this syntax we are familiar with a of 2 so it gives the value present at index 2 that is 9 this can also be written as 2 of a so again same thing 9 so this can be written as a of 2 or 2 of a anything if I say a plus 2 a is 100 plus 2 2 integers actually 2 integers means each integer takes 2 bytes so this will be 100 plus 4 104 so this one we get the address here 104 so this will print 104 asterisk a plus 2 a plus 2 just now we saw it is 104 and asterisk it means the value at this place value at this place is 9 so it will give us 9 again now same syntax can be used with the pointers also so it means this syntax is useful when you are using the address of an array if you say p let us see through pointer if you say p it is 100 ampersand p let us assume that the address of this pointer is 500 so that is 500 p of 2 is 9 2 of p is 9 p plus 2 is again 104 asterisk p plus 2 is 9 again next we will see two dimensional array pointer to two dimensional array I will take one pointer for two dimensional array we require a double pointer for a single dimension array we require a single pointer for 2d array we require a double pointer to access two dimensional array we require double pointer to access three dimensional array we require triple pointer so it means as many dimensions are there that many levels of pointers is required so here I am not going to declare a 2d array directly but we will see how to create a two dimensional array using heap inside heap so using pointer I am creating a two dimensional array in heap dynamically so first statement is p assign new 
int of size 3 so this is integer pointer of size 3 so here is an array of integer pointers so this is array of pointers their indices are 0 1 2 and here I have taken the addresses I have assumed the addresses so again the base address of this array is stored in P and P is a double pointer so double pointer will point on pointers so this pointer is pointing on array of pointers next at a P of 0 I am creating an array of size 4 so here is an array of size 4 index 1 2 3 so this is an array of size 4 and suppose the base address is 550 so that is stored here next for P of 1 also I am creating an array P of 2 also I have created an array now if you see this is double pointer right and this is array of pointers and these are arrays so we can say array of arrays so array of arrays is nothing but two dimensional array if you combine all these three if you combine all these three then it becomes a two dimensional array all these three together is a two dimensional array so that's how we create a two dimensional structure structure dynamically now let us see the syntax using this double pointer what all the syntax we can write and what is the meaning of each let us see now one by one so here is a complete array created now if I say P P is 500 if I say ampersand P let us say the address of the pointer itself is 700 so we get the address 700 just I am taking assuming some address that's it asterisk P so P is pointing on 500 this address asterisk means the data present there so we get 550 P plus 1 so P is having address 500 so it's pointing here plus 1 means next location so that is 502 asterisk p plus 1 means this is 502 just now we saw p plus 1 is 502 asterisk means the data present there so that is 600 asterisk p plus 1 just now we got this this one as 600 600 that is the base address of this array plus 2 so here second location that is 604 so here we get the answer result as what for this we get the result as 604 now asterisk p plus 1 plus 2 just now we saw it was 604 then again asterisk here one more asterisk here so it means the data present there so the result will be 25 this gives the result as 25 I have kept some value there so that value we get so we have seen the syntax next so this means that asterisk asterisk p of i p plus i plus j this can be used for accessing any location if I say p plus 1 plus 3 so this is 0 1 2 0 1 2 3 so 1 comma 3 so it will be accessing this location 1 plus 3 so here we need two asterisks so this i comma j we can access any location so writing asterisk asterisk p plus i plus j is the same as writing p of i comma j this is the same as that then let us see all these statements together at one place let us write the results again p is 500 
and ampersand p just now I said let us assume the address is 700 so this is 700 asterisk p is 550 p plus 1 is 502 asterisk p plus 1 is 600 and this gives 604 this gives 25 and this is useful for accessing any location asterisk asterisk p so this asterisk asterisk p is nothing but asterisk asterisk p plus 0 plus 0 now 0 has no value if you remove zeros this becomes asterisk asterisk p so it means the value present here suppose the value present here is 10 so the result is 10 so this what the syntax we can use with the help of pointers for accessing two dimensional array now here I am going to declare a two dimensional array directly here I have declared a two dimensional array indices are 0 1 2 0 1 2 3 I am assuming that the starting address is 500 so 500 5 0 2 4 6 and this will be the next location after 6 this will be the next location actually we draw it two dimensional but basically we get the array in single dimension only so we get 12 locations 12 integers like this and their addresses will be obviously this is 500 so 2 then 4 then 6 8 10 12 but we draw it two dimensionally because we access it using two subscripts now let us see how the syntax can work on the base address of an array as this is the base address so base address here is in the example it is 500 so how this a can be used for accessing this two dimensional array by using the syntax of pointers so I'm not writing printf for every statement assume that printf is there for all if I say a then it is 500 this one ampersand a is also 500 asterisk a asterisk a is the same location there is nothing again it is an address only so it is 500 a plus 1 so a plus 1 a is 500 plus 1 means in a row we get 508 you remember just now we have seen the syntax for double pointer so the same rule applies here on 2d array also so a plus 1 doesn't mean 502 a plus 1 gives 508 that is next row this you can treat it as array of arrays and there is an array of pointers in front assume that so based on that the syntax works asterisk a plus 1 there is nothing like that so again it is 508 asterisk a plus 1 plus 2 so this gives this address 512 and double asterisk a plus 1 plus 2 so suppose the value here is 25 so we get the value 25 then again same thing this can be used for accessing any location a of i comma j this is same as writing a of i and j asterisk asterisk a this gives the data present here suppose the value is 10 so this gives 10 now let us see more syntax a of 1 writing a of 1 is same as asterisk a plus 1 so that asterisk a plus 1 is 508 here we have here we have the value same 508 then a of 1 plus 2 so that is the address this one so 512 then its asterisk is applied on it so the value will present there so it is 25 so hope you have understood the syntax for pointers so these are the all possible syntax that are used for accessing arrays using pointers. Thank you for watching video.